Okay, so um, yeah, just a little impromptu catch up um, triggered by a few things. But um, firstly, thanks to everybody who is still joining, which is fantastic. Um, I'm having a few people now contact me saying, where's this all going? What's going to happen? Why has nothing actually started yet? Um, I do want to get to a thousand before I move this group onto the next stage. And it is a stage. It's going to be a process. Um, this isn't going to be just another running group for runners. It's not going to be a group for therapists who look after runners. Um, the reason I've done this is part of something a lot bigger. Despite all the stuff we're putting out there, despite all the advances in technology, running injury incidence is not going down. Just as many much runners are getting injured, if not more. So something is being missed out. We've got to stop taking advice from other runners when it comes to health. You can't do it. It is part of a bigger global problem now and it's part of this whole distrust thing. And the reason why we've got protesters saying there is no COVID-19 when I've got friends of family members who are in hospital on ventilators and I've got people demonstrating in London saying there's no such thing or they were going to die anyway which is fantastically supportive and it's lovely it's great running brings people together it helps a lot when it comes to giving people support but it also perpetuates this bad misinformation that continuously gets put out there and runners believe and runners attempt and for me, that's the biggest reason why running injury is not going down. And when I look, and this is why this is going to be a runner's group, because I'm not going to apologize to therapists. But when I look at this report of gait analysis, I have to be careful because I'm looking at, well, no, no, I'm looking at something that has been given to the runner. So they've chosen the words. The person has thought about what they're going to write down. This is the official report that gate and anal analyst probably didn't know it's going to come to me but it's just bad and there's bad information going out wrong information i'm not going to muck around or mince words there's just stuff which is wrong and is going to waste the runner's time the wrong exercises the wrong conclusions the wrong interpretation of photos the wrong use of gate analysis the wrong advice all wrong 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 running in particular rather than health care there is wealth care i think i got it right yeah um, which basically means not through bad intention but there's a massive industry out there which is generating money it's making a living therapists if you listen to this you might be one of them i'm not having a go at you really not personally it's not personal i'm looking at the industry i'm i'm, I'm working for the runners there is a big industry out there which is now wealth care as opposed to health care. What I mean by that is it's making money. The cogs are already turning. The monthly checks are coming in. The clients are there. They're listening. They're coming back. But it's not health care. It's churning out stuff which just isn't correct. Okay, It's making assumptions which you can't assume or it's giving out guarantees without without backing it up okay um, it's too much black and white some of it's just downright wrong and, I, and i'm not going to go into particular case histories but one of them which i read when i read the gate report it was just really wrong totally wrong like wrong side of the body wrong like totally wrong there was a really nice post online um, a few days ago by a Derek griffin a very respected fantastic runner um, and also a fantastic therapist um, and he would just point it out how assessment for a therapist does not start on does not start and stop on the first session. When you see somebody, if they do their assessment and that's it, they've decided, right, this is the treatment. This is what I'm going to do for eight weeks. Doesn't work. Rarely works. Assessment keeps going on every single time you see, speak, read an email, think about that runner because we're humans. OK, we don't treat running injuries. We treat we treat humans in pain. And it's a big distinction. We haven't we're not cars. There's not like one of those books where you look up the old Austin Metro and have a look. Oh, yeah, this has gone wrong. OK, I need to do that. I need to tighten that. I need to change that. No, we're not cars at all. We're all very, very, very different. And pain and injury is different as well because we all react in different ways. We've all got different experiences, pasts, perceptions, beliefs, fears, bodies, anatomical shape. 
uh, ways of moving, blueprints, habits, were all so different. To make this work and the runners clips to work, I need to make sure that it's for runners in here and I'm not just having therapists taking bits and bobs out using it for their own patients and then kind of coming back and it's not that's not going to help at all um and it's not anything personal or not if that's the way your business works that's fine but for me that way of doing stuff is just getting free information and and lining your pockets and that's not what this group's about this group's going to be about you putting stuff in it's a bigger picture and ultimately it's our whole industry which is going to benefit <laughs>